All right, hey, Shalom. I want to give all glory and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kapadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopefully elect. And Shalom to all the Akim pushing this truth with sincerity. All right. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video, a response video to the brother uh, Mahaloya, GMS Kansas, elder brother. Okay. Um, you know, and I ain't finished the video, but, you know, just based off the title, you understand, you know, what this lesson is going to be about. And it's just going to be quick. But, you know, I just wanted to add my two cents in there because, you know, the, 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 the you know, the fucked up thing about Christianity is they push this, you know, this doctrine. Um, they push this doctrine, you know, that, that that's very, very false, man. Okay. And that's the prosperity doctrine. That when you come to serve the Lord, you know, you're just going to gain all this wealth. You're going to be stress-free. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're not going to go through nothing. And that's just completely false, man. Because when you read the New Testament, I mean, all through the New Testament, I mean, all through the scriptures, it's about men being persecuted for the Lord's sake. Okay? Man having to go through trials and tribulations, man, for the Lord. Okay? All the apostles, man, were put to death except one. Yahweh Shai was put to death. Okay? Men were stoned. You know what I'm saying? Head beheaded. You know, um, um, you know, had to, you know, bear the cross. Okay? Men went through all types of shit, man, when they came to serve the Lord, man. Okay? So, I mean, that, that's something you really got to Understand and count the cost about, man. Are you ready to suffer for your how about shim and how shy, man? Okay, playing a cold cut, man. Okay, because it was a brother who made a good point. I think it was a brother, Jeremiah, from the GMS Chicago branch, but he made a good point. He was like, as a black man, you're going to suffer being in America anyway. Okay, rather you're in this truth or not. You know, I'd rather suffer, you know what I'm saying, for the Lord, for your how about shim how shy. You know, then to just be a regular average Joe out here who just lost and still going through bullshit, man. Because that was a point of time where we all was just suffering for wickedness, man. But now we're suffering for righteousness. Now we're suffering for your high Bashim al And that's the beautiful thing about this truth, man. You know, through all the, 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 the trials and tribulations, the persecutions we're going to have to endure, we're going to get a reward for it. But it's a lot of Jake's out here. Who going through all types of hell and ain't gonna get shit for it, man? But a fucking missile. So I mean, leave the truth for what? Go back to the world for what, man? Ain't like Esau got a record deal, uh, 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 a ten bedroom mansion. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and and all. You know what I'm saying? Ain't like you know what I'm saying. Esau just got that on deck for you. And see you niggas. And, and, and see you know what I'm saying. Jacob leave the truth to try to pursue that. But then forget that the Lord controlling the show anyway, man. You're not gonna get on, get you know what I'm saying, get there by your by your own hands. You can try, but if it ain't of the Lord's will, you're not gonna do it. You know. So you know, man. Listen, man. I mean, this is juice is all we got, man. This is the comforter, man. Being with your high by shimmy house shy, man. Having the Holy Spirit, man. You know. But this is to finish the topic at hand, man. I'm going to just grab a few scriptures and call it just to go and show you, man, that when you come to serve the Lord, man, you're going to go through all types of hell. Okay? So, um, it, I just typed in persecution, and it's all, well, like I said, man, when you read the New Testament, um, it, it's, it's all types of hell that the men were catching, man. Getting in prison. Paul got stoned to death. Peter was um um in in prison. Paul was in prison. Was that him? Paul and and um and Barnabas, I believe. Okay. The men men went through all types of shit, man. Okay. Shalak, man. Damn dad. But um. Yeah, man. Let's just get to it, man. And call it. Okay. Um. Let's see, man. Let's see. Uh, 
Matter of fact, I'm going to just grab Romans 8 and 35. It says, who shall separate us from the love of, of the anointed? Okay, or Mashiach, or Mashiach, the anointed. Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or pearl, or sword? Okay, none of those things going to separate us from the Lord, man. Okay, and like I said, when you read the accounts of the apostles, man, and even Yahweh Shai, they went through all those things, man. Okay, and nothing separated them from the Lord, man. Nothing that they, not matter of fact, um, matter of fact, let me see if it, uh, let me see. Right here, Second Timothy three and twelve, it says, "Yeah, and all that will live godly in the anointed Yahweh shall self suffer persecutions, man." Okay, and I just go to show you, man, that the, the, these Christians, man, ain't got it, man. Ain't got it, man. Okay, they tell you otherwise, man. When you come to serve the Lord, oh, you're going to be rich. Oh, he's going to, I mean, like, now, you know, the Lord will uh, 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 throw you a bone. Okay, it's brothers who got money, who got doing the truth. But they still catch a hell, man. Okay, because none of that, none of that, none of the riches or, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of slack the Lord give you. Okay, is the end all be all, man. We still in hell. Jake still be grieved at certain things. Okay, especially when you really want to get the fuck out this place, and, and let's just name some things that vexate you. Even if you doing all right here in the world. Okay, we got to deal with homosexuals. Okay, we got to deal with with Esau's wicked ass, man. Okay, we got to you know what I'm saying deal with these funky ass jobs all the damn time, working for this for the white man. Okay, dealing with his bullshit. Everything is just out of order. And if you a man of the Lord, all those things going to vexate you, whether you got money or not. You know? Because the world is upside down with Esau ruling it. Okay? Matter of fact, let me see. Um... Let me see. If I can find a bless is he... Let me see. It's in the video. Gotta find it. Bear with me, Bubba Kasha. Uh. Okay, this is a good one. James one and twelve. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Okay, perfect scripture, man. So you're going to go through all types of shit being in this truth, man. It is what it is, man. But, hey, at the end of the day, it molds you, man. Okay? It molds you, man. Okay? It's a badge of honor, man. Okay? When you stand stiffly for your high body, shimmy, how shy. Okay? When you when you stand the test, man, you gonna, we're going to be able to hold that badge of honor for eternity, man. These are those men. Okay? This is the elect. Okay? Who 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 stood stiffly against Esau and his wicked ass kingdom, man, against the beast, against the dragon, man. Okay, against the wicked who overcame the world, man. We're gonna be able to wear that, man. Okay? A badge of honor, man. Just how in the army that gives you all these badges, oh he this man he he um suffered this and, and got through this and was in Iraq or was in Vietnam and you know what I'm saying? Came out on the other end alive and you know what I'm saying? He 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 stood the test, man. But we doing this for the Lord, the King of the Universe, man. And Yahweh Shai. You know? How much more? How much more is that badge gonna be, man? Okay. How much more is that badge gonna be, man? To wear that crown, man. To 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 be at that crowning ceremony, man. Okay. Getting crowned by Yahweh Shai, man. And a two-edged sword, man. Okay. That sepulcher, man. Come on, man. For real. Um, man, let me see. It was another one I was thinking about. Not that one. Um, uh, let me see. Come, blessed are they. I was like in Matthew 5 and 10. Blessed are they. Which are persecuted for righteousness sake. 
for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed is they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, man. So when you're being persecuted, matter of fact, let's let's look it up. Like it. We just gonna go with it because you know people keep texting me. My dad keep hitting me up, but I'm trying to do this lesson. So we know what persecution means. Just look it up on your own time, man. Okay, just look it up on your own time. This is um First Peter three and fourteen. It says, but and if ye it says, but and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of the of their terror, neither be troubled. Okay. Happy are ye, man. Like I said, we're supposed to take this on the chin, man, and, 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 you know, glory in it, man. Fuck it, man. I mean, come on, man. You know? Now, some days it's harder than others, okay? But like I said, man, you got to have that tunnel vision, man. You know? You got to understand what you're fighting for and who you fighting for. we fighting for the almighty, the omnipotent, the one above all, the, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere, everywhere, all at once. You howl by Hashem and howl shy, man. Okay, Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai, you know, you know, and, and it's only mode in this, man, it's only mode in this, man, so I'm going to grab one more scripture, I'm going to grab one more scripture, I'm going to close it, man, okay, this is Ecclesiastes 7, I'm going to start at 3, verse 2, fire 2, read it on your own time, so is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, matter of fact, I'm starting to, it is better to go to the house of mourning than go to the house of feasting. Okay, because when you're in the house of mourning, it's going, it's going to tell you why in verse 3. It's going to go in the house of feasting. You go in the house of feasting, you indulge in the pleasure. You're not growing. Okay? You ain't got nothing to glory in, man. Okay? But folly and vanity. Okay? For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. When you're going through things, man, you, you become stronger, man. You know? You become stronger. You know? When you're going through things, you become stronger. It molds you. And that's what's going on now for us. We being molded, man. I, like I said, man, some days it's, it's better than others. And I kind of flipped the script on this on this uh, little lesson. Okay? Because, you know, like I said, I was beginning on it, you know what I'm saying, you're going to go through things in this truth, but now I'm in the spirit of, I mean, fuck it, let's go through these things, man, you know? And then, and ultimately, when you're going through these things and you are delivered from them, that just goes to show you the, the, the glory and the power of the Lord, man, you know? It builds your faith up, man, okay? Because if you just have getting everything handed to you by the Lord and you don't go through nothing, okay? You know, um, basically, you know what I'm saying? You, you're you not learning nothing. You're not you're not going to appreciate the most high, man, because you don't, you wouldn't understand what it's like to be delivered, you know what I'm saying, from tribulation, man, or, or hard times, you know, if everything was just given to you, you know? So, hey, man, that's the spirit, you know, the, you know, the balance, the balance just, just kicked in. You know, we're going to suffer in this truth. We're going to go through things, man. Okay, but in the end, we're going to win. We're going to get the victory. We're going to get the